Good morning, my name is Umberto Maleschi and I'm Fluid Mesh Network's CEO and co-founder. In this video I'll tell you about point-to-multipoint -point wireless networks that are very common to create outdoor wireless Ethernet infrastructures. So let me start telling you uh, a bit uh, about Fluid Mesh. We are a wireless vendor of products. Uh, we started the business in 2005 while we were grad students uh, at MIT at the Polytechnic of Milan in Italy. We are headquartered in the Chicago area and we have sales in more than 35 different countries. We are a, a vendor of wireless radio products focused on the Internet of Things market. We connect things, we connect intelligent devices that require uh, reliable network connectivity to actually enable their intelligence to be really helpful to their users. So in this video I'll tell you more about point-to-multipoint -point networks. Uh, point-to-multipoint is one specific network topology for outdoor wireless networks. The other two major network topologies and architectures are point-to-point, -point, that is the most simple one, and, and mesh networks, that is the most advanced to create the redundant networks. But in this video we will be talking about point-to-multipoint -point specifically, that is a very, very common network topology when you have multiple devices in the field, those could be sensors, cameras, or entire networks of buildings, that you want to connect to a central location that typically is on a high point, maybe on top of a hill or on top of a tall building, usually in line of sight with the other um, remote devices. So let's look at uh, an example of a point multipoint network where we have a city this is a smart grid application for a utility. We have a bunch of local networks uh, across the city connecting different devices, substations, houses, uh, uh, industrial plants. And then we have a point to multi point network here, show in red, that connects a tall building in line of sight with a bunch of other remote locations in the field. We typically call the device on the or that is at the center of the point to multi point, we call it base station or access point. And we typically call the devices in the field uh, connected to the actual sensors or cameras, we call them clients or CPE. So, certain point to multi point networks have two uh, common issues called hidden terminal issue and exposed terminal issues. So, you need to be aware of these issues because when you have uh, different remote devices, in this case we call them A and B in the top diagram, that are trying to transmit to a central device C, uh, you might have a hidden terminal issue that will significantly decrease the overall performance of the network unless you have a communication protocol in place that resolves this, this issue. So you don't want to use the so-called CSMA uh, type of protocol that is the typical uh, protocol used by Wi-Fi networks when you have a large-scale systems because you will be affected by the hidden terminal issue and potentially by the exposed terminal issue. You want to have a centralized or a TDMA, TDMA uh, approach like the one at FluidMesh uh, we, we have implemented in our point-to-multipoint solution. We call it Prodigy. It's our proprietary communication protocol based on MPLS that first of all implements an algorithm that is able to resolve the hidden terminal issues by synchronizing the transmission and making sure that multiple devices in the field, so the so-called CPE, they don't transmit at the same time towards the base station, but it's the base station controlling the transmission and synchronizing the transmission of the remote devices. And then we have an optimization algorithm for video and voice streamings to enhance the quality of video and voice over the wireless transmission medium. FluidMesh provides multiple products to build point-to-multipoint network. The FluidMesh 1200 Volo device is a typical device you will be using as a CPE, so the device that goes in the field connected to your camera or to your remote sensor or to your remote network. And then the FluidMesh 3300 base is 
the device that goes at the center of the point to multi point network and acts as a base station. He has a 120 degrees wide antenna, so it's the ideal device that can be mounted on top of a building and act as the central collection point uh, for the point to multi point network. Point to multi point wireless networks are extremely common in different applications. You go from uh, urban video surveillance, uh, perimeter protection, so still related to security and law enforcement, wireless infrastructures when you have multiple buildings in the campus environments and you want to connect them all to, to the same network, point to multipoint is a very common. Mobile networks involving uh, the transportation industry uses point to multipoint a lot and also industrial automation, particularly SCADA system and condition monitoring where you have many sensors spread around in industrial plants and you want to stream all the data to a central location. So I would suggest you to visit our website fluidmesh.com to learn more about our point to multipoint solution and please feel free to call us or email us if you have any question. We are very glad to help you designing your next point to multipoint network. Thank you.